Police say they only fired at actor Robert Mokoraka after he came at officers with a meat cleaver in his hand. In 2009, I had a very public mental and spiritual breakdown. In the storm of suicidal ideation, I provoked the police to shoot me dead. They shot me here at close range. Uh, I'm supposed to be dead. After multiple surgeries, a court case and countless hours of therapy, Rob turned his story into a one-man play, Shot Bro, which he performs around Aotearoa. When that bullet ripped through my internal organs and was searing through me, burning me internally, I knew I'd made a terrible mistake. I realised people don't want to kill themselves. They want the hurt to stop up here. In the last year, the Mental Health Foundation distributed over 558,000 free mental health resources to schools, workplaces, healthcare centres and to mental health advocates like Rob. Another 355,000 resources were downloaded for free from the Foundation's website. That's almost one million free mental health resources out in the community. A million resources which start a million conversations about mental health. Well, I wouldn't be ordering as many as I have been if they weren't free. And I think it's, it's a real blessing and it's a core heart to the communities who don't have any knowledge around anxiety, bipolar, depression, suicide. You know, Tamir, Tamir, Tamir. By providing those, we're giving a family um, one tool on the tool belt. These are all helpful. And if you need to um, get the assistance, just look inside that pit and they can help you. Kia ora, welcome to the Mental Health Foundation. Hi, how can I help? We send out nearly a million resources annually, uh, and I like to think of it as each, each poster, each pamphlet, each booklet, that's, that's a conversation that starts. Unfortunately, the service is underfunded by around about $300,000 annually, and we really need the support from the community to be able to uh, provide the service and to provide these resources. Um, put your hands up if you're in the secret sad club. Kia ora tātou, ngā mihi aroa, kia tātou katoa, thank you so much. It's really important to have uh, resources like the ones that we provide that can support people to have the conversations. So if someone does tell you that they're not feeling so good or a family member does get a diagnosis, there's no shame or stigma around that. It's just about, okay, how can we help? Thanks for coming. I'm coming for a hug. Kia ora. Thank you. Help keep these vital mental health resources free for all New Zealanders. Donate now.